Women's fashions are more than fabric, lace, and ribbons. In the clothing women wore and in the stories of their owners, we can trace the patterns of their culture, including how society viewed women and in turn how they viewed themselves. If you listen closely, the clothing can speak to you. This series explores the clothing and textile collection from Grinnell Historical Museum, located in Grinnell, Iowa. On December 7, 1941, the United States entered World War II, a global war that became the deadliest conflict in human history. Young men in America joined the military in droves to defend their country. Their bravery, sacrifice, and patriotism were inspiring, but the contribution made by women is often overlooked. With men stationed overseas, the jobs they left behind created opportunities for women to serve in positions previously only available to men. More than six million women stepped into those civilian jobs to support the war effort. Roughly 350,000 served in the armed forces. Mary Jones was one of the latter. Mary Gertrude Jones was born in Marshalltown, Iowa on July 10, 1906. She came to Grinnell in 1924 to attend Grinnell College, where she earned her BA degree. She became a teacher at Grinnell High School, and Miss Jones was a familiar face to all students in English speech and drama classes until 1943. Heeding the call to serve her country in World War II, Mary was accepted to Waves Officer Training School at Smith College in Northampton, Massachusetts, and was commissioned as an ensign on May 4, 1943. Waves stands for Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service, and it was the new women's branch of the U.S. Naval Reserve during World War II. The Waves served at 900 stations in the United States and succeeded in jobs that included clerical workers and aviation mechanics, medical personnel and control tower operators, postal workers and parachute riggers, code breakers, metal workers, and radio operators, among others. Mary Jones served in the office of the Undersecretary of the Navy at the main Navy building in Washington, D.C. By the completion of her service, she had been promoted to senior grade lieutenant. Following her discharge in 1946, she lived in Edina, Minnesota for 10 years, returning to Grinnell College in 1957 to assume the duties of alumni secretary. After retirement, Mary spent her later years at the Mayflower community, where she died in 1993. Mary Jones's Waves uniform is her service dress blue. Her single-breasted wool jacket and skirt would have also included a shirt, tie, stockings, low-heeled shoes, and soft-crowned hat with a rolled brim. The dress blue is the formal uniform for cooler weather. It was designed by the well-known Paris fashion designer Mainbacher to enhance the waistline and flatter the figure. Mainbacher was renowned for garments that demonstrated femininity, wearability, and timelessness. His designs for the waves were a resounding success prompting Time Magazine to call the Waves the best dressed women in the world. She also would have had a dress white uniform for formal events made of white Palm Beach cloth and a working uniform constructed of white and gray cotton seersucker. Mary Jones, along with her fellow Waves, wore this uniform with pride. The insignia sewn on her jacket collar is the Waves Core insignia, which depicts an anchor and propeller. The star on her sleeve is a core device, which indicates she was a line officer, a rank that allowed her general command authority, and the two stripes signify she was a full lieutenant. The bold women who served in the waves advanced the status of women in the Navy and helped pave the way for all women in the military today. Along with the men who served in World War II, we salute them for their service and patriotism. <laughs>